for, from an emergency standpoint, none of this stuff is really that big of a deal. Um, from a survival standpoint, it is, though. Hello and welcome back to Prepping 101 on Guns America. I'm going to go back to the topic of food because I am kind of doing this Season 3 thing. So, for those of you who are new here... Um, and we do get, we do on the digest, we get somewhere between 500 and 1500 new subscribers a day. Um, so I'm sure there are some new, new people out there. I'd like to just go back to the way that I view survival food and how you get the most for your money. And the, what, what the impetus for it was this August and Farms, this is the Walmart brand that if you go on the Walmart website, August and Farms is their is their freeze dried food brand, and the this is a this is supposedly a forty eight hour kit for four people, so four person kit for forty eight hours. Okay, so that would be a total of eight man days. Okay, for eight man days they have a a total calories of ten thousand. 910 and I will show you in the store where this is and, and all of that um, So the 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 actual food here is it's not as split up as you might think Because really they're just buying this from one of the the other fruits freeze dried companies And there's there's really only uh, one two three four five six seven packets of food in here and um they're in these very large, large servings. Um, so I, I don't think that this is your, your best bet, even from a, uh, just a usability standpoint. But it, it does address the, it does address the thing of, what if I only have 20 bucks? This is 20 bucks. I didn't even mention that. That my impetus for this was because it was 20 bucks, because I could see people say, oh look, it's only 20 bucks, and I'm prepared. Well, you know, yeah, you are. The reality is, for 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 whatever it is, eight days alone, or 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 maybe even ten days, you would have enough food if you split it up correctly and 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 used it correctly. But but if you really are planning for collapse food, collapse food is a lot different than emergency food. Emergency food for a blizzard or for a hurricane or something like that. Emergency food really isn't that bad. You know, you really can. You're not. You're probably not going to go anywhere. Um, you're probably going to have a way to cook somehow at home because you've got a propane stove from camping or whatever, and, and you'll have enough propane to cook for a few days. Um, you might have light. You might have lanterns with batteries in them. For, from an emergency standpoint, none of this stuff is really that big of a deal. Um, from a survival standpoint, it is, though. But the, the, from a survival standpoint, you, you really are going to need a lot more food than what's here. And if you don't have a lot of money to spend, then you really should just pay attention to what I am trying to teach you here. Because what you can learn from this is what is storable. This claims it has a 20-year storage life. So let's look at the main ingredients on these things. Cake flour. Well, that's all that's in this one. Pretty much sugar, soybean flour, dextrose, which is sugar, buttermilk powder, baking soda. Okay, this is their buttermilk pancakes, okay? The maple brown sugar oatmeal is, is rolled oats, um, brown sugar, and uh, brown sugar creamer, which is made of coconut oil, corn syrup. Not much going on there besides the oatmeal itself. Uh, elbow macaroni is obviously elbow macaroni. And then they have cheese powder, which, powder, which they use whey, and buttermilk solids. Um, and a little bit of regular cheese, dried cheese thrown in there. Creamy chicken rice is rice. And then you gotta go all the way down to, they call it creamer, which they're saying is palm oil and maltodextrin. Sodium cassinate they get from, from, these are just, these are really just flavoring ingredients. And if you get down, now where, where's the chicken? <laughs> the chicken is natural chicken flavor low sodium chicken base is the the third to last ingredient is low sodium chicken base which is just again a flavoring this is primarily just rice 
Um, oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't third to last. The ingredient list has got a hundred things in it. <laughs> so it goes all the way over to here, um, down to parsley flakes and turmeric. Um, creamy potato salad is diced dehydrated potatoes. So that's an actual freeze dried food. And this thing they're calling creamer, which is palm oil, maltodextrin, sodium cassonate. Um, and oh, and there, <laughs> these ingredients also continue all the way up here. Um, to a crazy amount of stuff. Um, but it all adds up to 10,900 calories for roughly 20 bucks. This is the Augustin emergency bucket that inspired me to do this story. As you can see, it says on it 10,910 calories per dollar and it's 20 bucks. So that works out to roughly 500 and something calories per dollar. Now, if I just zoom out a little bit what you'll find is even this name brand drink mix in the bulk shelf is um, over 800 calories per dollar um, this one is this this um, milk chocolate um, drink mix is over 900 calories per dollar the Peter Pan peanut butter is over 1300 calories per dollar and the buttermilk pancake mix is somewhere around 3000 calories per dollar so compare that to the same stuff on the shelf it pales in comparison but I will create my own bucket using Walmart stuff and I will show you just what you can get for 20 bucks. I'm going to start with the bucket because obviously the August and Farms um, bucket comes with a bucket so this five gallon bucket at Walmart is 296 the lid is 126. First thing I'm going to add to my bucket is this 10 pounds of flour from Walmart at $2.77. There are over 15,000 calories in this one bag. That works out to 5,400 calories per dollar. I'm only going to add a small bag of sugar, even though it is 3,500 calories per dollar, just because of space. If you were doing obviously a lot of buckets, you would probably go for the bigger sizes, which give you more calories per dollar. This is two bucks here. Uh, it's roughly 5,000 calories, I believe. Yeah, over 5,000 calories. I'm going to get um, 8,000 calories in this five pounds of rice for $2.32. And four pounds of pinto beans for $2.98. There are um, 52 servings, 90 calories each. Uh, 4,500 calories plus in this bag. Just because I know how much luxury we have, I am going to actually include a $5 Mayday bar at 2,400 calories in our supply because the Augustin bucket has nothing pretty much that is ready to eat. And these are, of course, ready to eat. At the beginning of an emergency, I don't believe that you want to be cooking anything. So that's another 4.97. Well, I think I'm gonna actually trash this because it's just too much money per calorie, per dollars per calorie. Um, I can get, um, these are roughly 1,600 calories per pound of pasta for a dollar. All the, all the pasta at Walmart is a dollar. Um, so right there, I'm already at 4,800 calories for $3 instead of $5 and uh, my, my bucket is obviously running out of space. So to keep on the theme of having some food that's ready to eat, I am going to put in four of these Vienna sausages. They are roughly 600 calories per dollar, um, and that also tops off our bucket. This is my the results of my shopping spree here, and um, I, I, I'll, I'll explain that I, I didn't include everything that I normally would have. I wanted to keep it under the the 20 bucks because um, we've got the we've got the plastic bucket um, Augustin, Augustin which is 20 bucks so we have 15,100 calories 6,800 100 calories 8,000 calories 4,800 calories for the three things of pasta 4,680 calories for the pinto beans and 1,300 and 60 calories for the Vienna sausages and that equals 40,000 that equals 40,000 
750 calories. So roughly four times the amount of calories, and that is even with some luxury meat here. Um, now what I didn't what I didn't include is I didn't include um, mashed potatoes, the, the, the powdered mashed potatoes, which are I believe they are roughly six to eight hundred calories uh, per dollar. I did not include powdered milk. Powdered milk at Walmart is about four hundred something calories per dollar. It's in my other Walmart video. Um, four hundred something calories per dollar through the Mormon website which I will share with you in the article which I've shared before with my readers. Um, the Mormon website I believe is about 800 calories per dollar. Um, so those are, are two what I would call staples of dry storable food that you can get at Walmart. I just was trying to keep this under 20 bucks and uh, obviously we did keep it at 1977. Um, now the only the, what you're going to want to do with these the, the the advantage to the Augustin Farms is that they they also have a non-sealed lid like this non-sealed lid, but like this non-sealed lid, but you can obviously seal this lid with some silicone. Um, oh, that's not the right side. This is the right side. Um, you can just put a bead of silicone in there when you close the bucket, and you can seal your lid. Obviously, um, because oxygen oxygen to keep this food for 20 years, you do need some kind of oxygen absorbing or eliminating system. And the other thing that, that oxygen, lack of oxygen keeps it from reacting with the oxygen, which breaks down, especially the fats. There's fats in here, um, there's fats in here. There's even a little bit of fat in the rice and, the, and, and of course in the pasta. Um, the canned food you don't have to worry about. Um, but in order to, the, the big thing is to have the barrier so that you don't have oxygen circulating through your environment. For the Augustin, they actually, um, they have, these are nitrogen filled bags. They actually have one, they, they do um, their elbow macaroni with the cheese. They shrink wrap it instead of, instead of using a, a, um, a nitrogen flood. These are all nitrogen flooded. So they, they, um, they don't have oxygen in them, they just have nitrogen flood. Um, but that's, you know, that's really what you're, what you're going to compare it to as far as being able to store your own food. You can get oxygen absorbers. You can get them in 100 packs from the Mormons, that same website. You can get them on Amazon. They're not really that expensive. They're, they, they only add pennies to your overall cost per dollar, calories per dollar. Um, but you really don't even have to do that if you are sealing, if you're going to put a bead of silicone in your, your lid, you probably don't have to do that and let it as long as you're keeping it indoors and you're in your climate somewhat climate controlled house you should be okay the um the the difference with these is that they're in mylar now you can also put your stuff in mylar um before you put them in the bucket as well i didn't but the 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 air that's going to get to them if you seal your lid is really not going to be all that much. I personally would, what I would do is I would freeze the flour before you, you store your flour. You should freeze your flour, freeze your beans, free, freeze all of these three things. Freeze them. You may even want to freeze the pasta. That kills any insect eggs that might be in there. Um, and that way you won't have to worry about opening it and finding flour moths. Um, the other thing you can do is that once you stack all of your stuff, inside your, 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 your bucket, once you get all your stuff in there, and you can obviously make a lot more room in a bucket by using, um, by just putting things in plastic bags inside your bucket as well, which I've also done and I've showed you that as well. It's, it's not, not hard to do. The, there's a lot that you can do that, that to make the most out of your bucket space, because obviously the buckets are fairly expensive. Um, this is actually a decent price for a, for a five-gallon bucket and a lid. I found I, in my first food article, I actually showed you a guy on eBay. I assume he's still there. That you can get uh, buckets delivered to your house, six-gallon buckets, not five-gallon buckets, delivered to your house for um, about three bucks a piece. So here's our different, just a slightly different way to pack our stuff.
and then you would you would in order to get the the oxygen out of here you can also use a little piece of dry ice we had 30 cents left over from our 20 bucks so if you wanted you could actually put a piece of dry ice uh, here in the corner a little piece is all you need and seal it up don't seal it yet like just leave it so that it's not exchanging because the what it does is it turns the oxygen into co2 um, or I think yeah I think it turns it into co2 um, and it's heavier than air so it kind of just sits in the bucket and then you would just put a bead of silicone here and hammer it down and you probably will be good for 20 years and you got four times as much calories in a sealed bucket for about the same price.